Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. As I've mentioned in my About Me video, I love games. And so today we're gonna play K-Drama Versus and we're gonna do Boys Over Flowers versus Meteor Garden. Both of these dramas are based off of a Japanese manga called Boys Over Flowers that came out in the 90s. Boys Over Flowers came out in 2009 and the new version of Meteor Garden came out last year. So there is a bit of a time difference between the two, but I still love them both so much, and so I'm gonna do my best to compare them. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Biggest tearjerker. Biggest tearjerker. Um, I bawled hysterically in both, but I'm gonna say Boys Over Flowers because Lee Min Ho is just the best actor. Shen Yu versus Ku Yang Sun. Uh, Shin Yu, for sure. She's one of my favorite Chinese actors right now. Lee Min Ho versus Dylan Wayne. Ooh. Lee Min Ho. <laughs> Which had the best original soundtrack? Um, they're both really good, but I'm gonna say Meteor Garden, and that's probably because it's a little more modern. Best romance. I'm gonna be, people are gonna hate me for this, but I'm gonna say Meteor Garden. I don't think she should have ended up with Jun Pyo in Boys Over Flowers. I'm sorry, don't kill me. I think Ji Hyun was her soulmate. So yeah, Meteor Garden. Which was the most frustrating? The most frustrating? Uh, definitely Boys Over Flowers. Lee Min Ho's character was that nah, is shaking, but I think a huge part of the reason why I think the romance in Meteor Garden was stronger was because Jun Pyo did not end his own wedding. He would have totally gone through with it if the girl hadn't ended it. <laughs> so I think we should subtract a point for Boys Over Flowers. Which had the best chemistry? The best chemistry. This is a tough one. I think I'm gonna say Meteor Garden. Like, Lee Min Ho's really putting it out there, but I think it was more two-sided than Meteor Garden. Best kiss? Best kiss would definitely be Boys Over Flowers. Demon Ho wins again. <laughs> Best fashion. This one's a tough one because the shows are like a decade apart, but for the time that they were in, I think Boys Over Flowers was probably the more fashionable one. And a lot of Domingue's outfits really bothered me. So I'm gonna say Boys Over Flowers. Which had the best fight scene? <laughs> I'm gonna say Meteor Garden because in Boys Over Flowers, I felt like it was mostly his friends doing all the fighting, and in Meteor Garden, Deming Se came to the rescue. Which one had the best side story? I think Meteor Garden. I was really, really invested in her best friend and his best friend's storyline. I like wanted them to get together so bad. So yeah, Meteor Garden. Which one has the most intense second main syndrome? For sure, boys over flowers. Like, not even a question. I wanted her with Ji Hu so bad. I felt like they were soulmates. Like, they were perfect together. He was the one who was rescuing her. They just fit on a better level. It wasn't. It. Uh, it wasn't because he couldn't have her. I just really think that's that storyline was epic. Um, 
and in Meteor Garden, you knew that she didn't belong with him. She belonged with Domingue. So, yeah, boys ever flowers, hundred percent. They should have ended up together. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's true. Which one had the best clap back moment? Oh. oh. I think I'm gonna say Meteor Garden. I I I, know, I think I have to say Meteor Garden. I was thinking Boys Over Flowers, but that kick to the face is so good. <laughs> and she leaves a mark on his face. She's like, Domingsa! Which is like, Wah! <laughs> It's really good. Which one has the best character redemption? <sighs> My gut says Meteor Garden. Oh, this is so hard. I'll say Lee Min Ho's character, Jun Kyo, has the best character redemption. But I don't know. Dylan Wink's character is a terrible person, too, and you really root for him. So I think I'm going to go with Poison for Flowers. Which one had the best ending? Oh, the best ending. Um. We have to revisit this. <laughs> she went through med school with her soulmate, Ji Hyun, and they're so cute, and they're both like on some Doctors Without Borders trip together. And then Jun Kyo just flies in on his helicopter and is like, hey babe, like let's be together now. Hop in, let's go. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> she doesn't belong with him. She belongs. With her soulmate, Ju Hyun. Sorry. So yeah. <laughs> For the best ending, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Meteor Garden. <laughs> because they belong together. And the wedding was cute. And then they had the run like a river dance. Final result, okay. It looks like Meteor Garden won. <laughs> Honestly, before I did this, I would have thought Boys Over Flowers, hands down. Hands down. But I guess I had some feelings that I was hiding somewhere. And Meteor Garden just took the cake. I think this new version of Meteor Garden kind of fixed all of the things that bothered me about Boys Over Flowers. And by the way, I am anxiously awaiting Lee Min Ho's new drama now that he's back. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for playing along. I'm curious to know who won your K-drama versus. Put it in the comments below and I will see you there. Bye!